today everything is dark because I'm in a dark mood. Um, Coco, thank you. I appreciate this video. This video has changed my whole entire day. I was going to comment on uh, Chris Dallas's one hot chick. She did some video. I was going to comment on whatever. And they, they wouldn't let me post a video comment. Um, you have said some things in the past on a few videos in the past that would be considered uh, anti quote unquote black and um, also degrading to the male species. Um, in this video, you were humbled, and you should not be humbled because of me. Um, I just want some clarification, because as beautiful as you are, yeah, I'm saying it, you're a nice-looking person. You, you came off ugly in those old videos you used to do. You are a very ugly, bitter black woman in them old videos. And this video right here shines a new light on you that I don't think anybody has ever seen. Because everything that I've ever heard of seeing you is somebody dragging up some video about, you know, the one where you're talking about white guys or whatever, better than black guys, whatever. But in this video, you are a very elegant woman in this video. Very respectful. And I'm sorry that I threw you for a loop because, hey, that's what I do. I, comp I comment on people and I try to catch them. I, I caught you off guard. And you caught me off guard. And looking at this video, I, I ain't never hated you or anything that you've ever said. But I was surprised that you would say it, some of the things that you said in the past. But I'm going to repeat one more time. You made history. Not by all the video hits, but the words you spoke were history. They went down in somebody's brain as words, words of knowledge, regardless of if anybody agreed with you or whatever. Knowledge is power. To have one woman's insight in that period of time was worth more than pulling the video off. Because at that period in time, you thought that way. You believed in that thought if it lasted a week it lasted a week if it lasted a month it lasted a month if it lasted a year it lasted a year how you felt at that moment in time was history and I've commented on a lot of people's videos and months later they're no longer on YouTube and then when people watch my videos it's like what the hell is this man talking about he's speaking out of context and when people pull videos, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like, okay, this person is rambling and talking about nothing. And for the most part, all we do is ramble and talk about nothing. Let me break that down a little further. What do I mean we talk about nothing? See, you can have a problem that's so big that just no way around this problem there's no way around this scenario that you're facing but to me it's no problem at all and I can have a problem so big and to you it's, it's nothing what I'm really trying to get at is this when we speak on a subject or a topic or having these discussions that we have on YouTube the meaning and the essence of the discussion normally gets lost when the debate is not ongoing. In other words, I commented on a video asking you questions about something else that had nothing to do with the video that I commented on. You commented back talking about exactly the video that I knew you'd talk about. And humbling yourself in a manner that is touching. Because a lot of people don't take back what they say. I don't. And you did. And you didn't have to take back what you said. But you'd explained yourself in the beginning. I, hey, I, was, I just wasn't, <laughs> wasn't feeling it at that time. Whatever you said, it touched me. Because you looked into yourself and pulled something back. And people don't do that. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be wrong till tomorrow. And you did the right thing. You, you changed. 
People can change. I can change. You can change. She can change. He can change. We can all change. But if we don't change to better each other, then we just changing to better ourselves. And if I fell in a hole with a billion dollars, right now it's boom, money everywhere. I'm going to climb out that hole and change other people's lives. I might not be able to do everything I'm supposed to do in life to better life itself. But every little bit counts. And what you did changed my whole attitude today. Because I was going to be an asshole today. All day. But I can't be an asshole today. Because you said something. You said something that made history. And here. It might not mean nothing to nobody else. But it meant something for me today. Today I needed a pickup. And you might not think he was picking me up. Today, I've been fighting stress and drama all day. In my quest to save the world, you saved me today. And I appreciate that. For all these other people who've been watching my videos today and know that <laughs> I'm not feeling it on YouTube. YouTube has burned a hole in me that until now, I was going to close that hole up by saying, fuck YouTube. I'm going to leave my videos where they are. And I'm going someplace else. And when I leave, I'm taking everybody with me. Because how can I better myself or try to better the situation around me in my quest to save the world if I'm only saving the world that I'm in? Makes no sense to better yourself if everybody around you is still hurting. I wish for you to have the greatest Christmas in your entire life. I wish everybody that's even close to you experienced how I'm feeling right now. I feel good about myself. Not because somebody stopped me from being an asshole. Because somebody showed me that I don't have to be an asshole today. Even though the drama and stress and bullshit has pushed me to the edge of saying fuck everything, everybody and everyone around me. You, you, somebody who I, I'd love to be mad at every now and then. Ooh, I just want to scream at your videos when, when I don't want to comment on them. I can't scream at you today. Because before me, there's a woman humbled. Humbled for no apparent reason at all answering a question of why I don't know if anybody can make any sense of what I just said I speak in metaphors I speak in riddles I speak in poetry because I'm tired of speaking English because I'm tired of speaking Ebonic because I'm tired of speaking nigga for the rest of my day I just gonna be happy because I have to be happy now. Because somebody has told me why. And they told me in a manner to where you can feel it. Those a lot of people don't like you. People hate you because of things that you said in the past. How can we say something on YouTube that garners hate from people. When all you gave was your opinion. That's all I ever do is give my opinion on any given subject. I give an opinion. Regardless if people want to listen to my opinion or even give a damn that I have one. You have changed my opinion for today. I can't find any bitterness no more. I'm mad at you for that. I can't find any reason to continue to be angry today because now you're making me think about myself you're making me think about what I got to do to make myself feel this way tomorrow make myself feel this way later on tonight thank you for being as beautiful as you are erasing all the ugliness I've ever seen in you in one video a lot of people can't do that because they don't want to but for those who don't want to they want to know one thing they want to know but you just told me and I appreciate you telling me and I feel you now and you've been too